Hey everyone, it's Dion with 901 Cravings and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about receiving my very first YouTube payment, plus other things such as how to get to the point to be able to receive YouTube payments or, you know, get paid by YouTube. And also different tips and advice if you want to start off your own YouTube channel in 2019. I do want to say right off the bat, like seriously, right off the bat, this video is in no way or form of me trying to gloat getting paid. But now, uh, I will tell you how much YouTube has paid me, but that will be later on in the video. Like right now, I'm just gonna tell you about the process of being able to get approved to be able to monetize your videos on YouTube. And also, you know, different tips to help keep that uh, revenue going along for you and to also how to keep your channel successful. Okay. And so now, to be approved for monetization, there are several things that you have to do in order. Like it is a real deal process and it does take time. And I will say this, when it, become, uh, when it comes time for you to become a YouTuber, you have to have patience. The very first process of uh, wanting to be monetized by YouTube is, you know, after you create your channel and all that, you go into your settings and you look for the monetization or the uh, YouTube partner program link. You click on that, you know, you start reading. And first thing is, you know, you have to go through and you have to accept the terms. You accept the terms. Uh, you you also then Google, will, I'm sorry, not Google. YouTube will then take you to an external link to Google AdSense, which is the website who pretty much creates and generates the ads that go on your videos. And so now you can create an AdSense account before everything and then you can link it up afterwards, but it's better but it's better to do everything on the YouTube website where they do it all in one go and everything is already uh, linked up. And so YouTube is then going to let you know the, uh, the two uh, requirements that you need to even be considered to be reviewed for approval. Yeah, that's right. Bef uh, before you can even be reviewed, you got to meet two uh, requirements and that is you got to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 total watch time hours watch time hours not minutes but yes hours 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch time hours that's a lot like that's a lot like when i first saw it i i was thinking like 4000 hours like <laughs> and then 1000 subscribers so now when you do reach the 1000 subscribers and the 4000 watch time hours youtube is then going to notify you that like hey your channel is now being reviewed for approval and they will let you know within a month some people you know they are able to look out like how i did youtube i believe it was yeah two days i get i get notified in two days that my channel was approved i will also say this even though you meet those uh, requirements and your profile gets submitted for a review it is still possible to be rejected by youtube but that but that occurrence is really uh, rare most because everyone pretty much gets approved the only reasons why your channel would get rejected is if your videos really just aren't that entertaining or your videos got a lot of cussing uh slandering and so now once you get approved uh you will be able to then start uh, monetizing your video which means you can put ads onto your videos and usually once you uh, upload one time and you will uh, click the little tab that be like right above the video to to enable the monetization it'll just apply the same settings for every video that you do from then on but i will say this just because you start putting ads on your videos and you start earning money you know the process is a little bit more complicated than that you know just because you earn five dollars doesn't mean you're going to instantly get paid five dollars right then and there no so with youtube they do have a payment cycle and youtube pays wait when did i get the 21st yeah youtube pays the 21st of each month and also with that cycle how can i explain it the cycle works like this you uh you work and earn one month and then you get paid the next month but you know, the next month you get paid, you know, you're still earning for the month after that. Keep track of all your uh, earnings and revenue so so far, I would highly suggest downloading the YouTube Studio app. And um, uh, with that app, you know, not only does it uh, displays all your videos, you know, you can read all your comments from there too, but main thing is it keeps track of your estimated earnings. 
YouTube pays you on the 21st of each month. But in order for YouTube to uh, to pay you uh, each month, you have to meet a minimum threshold. And YouTube has a minimum threshold of $100 in order for them to pay out your account each month. And the 21st comes around, like say as if it's the uh, 18th or the, or the 19th, and your account is at $99.99, and the 21st hits, YouTube still is not going to pay you out. That's right. If you're off by even, by even a penny, YouTube won't pay you out that month and then they will make you wait until the next month to get paid. And once you reach the minimum threshold payment of $100, Google AdSense is then going to get in contact with you pretty much by email saying like, hey, you need to come back on over to the website and you need to submit your payment information on how you want us to pay you, you know, by either direct deposit or a check in the mail. And after you do that, Google AdSense then does what they need to do to verify who you are. And one of the things they do is they make you verify your address. And by doing that, they will send, you know, this piece of paper right here that says Google AdSense, uh, on the inside of it, it will have a pen, a pen that is a pen that is created just for you. And once you get this in the mail, you know, they'll, uh, they'll say give it about three to five days for this to come. Once uh, once you get this and you get the pen from it, you go back to the website and then to finish the um, uh, process of finalizing your payment options, like uh, like this is just so that they can finalize your payment option. The whole process still isn't done. But the other thing they do is verify your bank account. This thing is that you're going to have to do is tax information. And so now you're going to do, what's it called? I think it's called a W-9. Yeah, a W-9 for YouTube. And if you don't have that done, you know, YouTube isn't gonna pay you. And so now this is for people who are under the age of 18. You can't use your own tax inf information because technically you don't have none. You're going to have to use your parents or like an older brother or older sister or your grandma or grandma or your auntie or uncle who's ever willing to help you out, you'll have to use theirs until you come of age and you can use your own. And once all of that is done, you're squared away. YouTube will start paying you on the 21st of every month. And so it's like I said, it's a very patient thing because with, because with everything that I just uh, described to you, you can tell like it's a very long process, but it's a patient thing. And so, you know, you just have to be patient uh, with getting the thousand subscribers to 4,000 watch hours and then going through the process of having your payment information confirmed and then honestly earning a hundred dollars is a long process itself but I would say the longest process is really the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours you know some people can't earn it and well some people can get a thousand subscribers in a couple weeks a couple months and there are those, you know, hey, it may take a while for you, like a year or two, but you know, hey, just keep at it and it's going to come. I haven't heard of no one getting a couple of uh, getting a thousand subscribers in a couple of days. If they did, they done hack some stuff or they done paid off a whole bunch of people or something. But yeah, just stay at it and it's going to come to you. Now, let's get into the part where I pretty much give you tips and advice on how to keep your channel going once you're able to be approved for monetization and all that. And the very, very, very first crucial piece of advice that I tell you is what I just said a couple seconds ago. You have to have patience. Because like I said, it's a long process, but it pays off for you. And don't get and don't get discouraged when you see other YouTubers that are going faster than you, you know. Everything happens for everyone at their own pace. If you are really passionate about having a YouTube channel, then yeah, keep at it and it's gonna show and it will pay off. Like, be passionate about it, okay? So advice number two, and this right here is honestly big too. Advice number two is you have to believe in yourself and don't care what people think about you. Like when I say this is the biggest setback, especially for people of my generation and people who are trying to become YouTubers, they are so worried about what folks will think about their videos or what they will think about their channels. And they will just be hesitant in uploading videos and starting a, a channel. Like, seriously, you cannot care what no one says about you. Like in my case, I started my channel in January when honestly, I was really wanting to start my channel back a long time ago, last year. 
But it was so many things going through my mind, like, oh my God, what are people gonna think about me and my slight speech impediment? Because as you can, because as you know from my previous videos and even now with me talking, I do have a slight stutter and all, but do I care? No, I don't. I'm gonna keep putting out these videos with my stutter and all, showing y'all the skills that I got in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so yeah, as you can see, like I said, you have to believe in yourself and you cannot care what others say. Yes, there are judgments of people. You can't please everyone. Everyone isn't going to like what you upload. It doesn't matter. Forget them. Keep uploading and keep doing you. Next tip, and this is something that kind of applies back to the uh, watch time, hours, and subscribers of what I was saying earlier and about video length. Like seriously, your videos have to be at least, and when I say at least, like at least 10 minutes long. You can probably cut it with eight or nine minutes, but 10 minutes is what you need to be going for. If you keep uploading like three to five minute videos, three to four times a week, yeah, you reaching a thousand, a thousand subscribers and a, and a 4,000 watch hours is gonna take you a very, 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 very long time. Next tip is time management. Like pretty much every tip I'm about to say is a big tip because it plays a big important part. Time management is another one. You have to make the time for your YouTube channel. Like you have to put in the time for anything that you're passionate about. Uh, you you have to put you have to put in the time for recording your videos, for editing, for uploading them. Like seriously, like if you want your channel to be successful, you have to put in the time for it. Next thing is your thumbnails. Like your thumbnails of your video play a big role. Like they are very important. When it comes to making your thumbnails, try to make them as aesthetically pleasing as you can. Like make them eye popping. Like, uh, like make them grab someone's attention after scrolling down YouTube, trying to find a trying to find a video or something. And when they see your video, they be like, "Huh." That looks interesting. But now here's the thing. Don't do clickbait dump, uh, thumbnails in, uh, in videos, okay? If you do a thumbnail, make sure your thumbnail matches the content that's in your video. Clickbait is one of the worst things ever and that will literally hurt your watch, hurt your watch time hours. Yeah, make sure your thumbnails are very good because you will be surprised. You could have the most boring video ever, but, it, but if you have an awesome thumbnail, people will watch that video and it will get hundreds to thousands to hundreds of thousands of viewers and watch time. Wow, you could have the most interesting video, but the thumbnail for it is just bland and bleh. No one is going to want to watch it. Next tip is editing. Everyone isn't going to be good at editing. At the beginning, you know, editing takes time. You, you have to figure out what works for you when uh, uh, when it comes to editing, which uh, which product, which uh, <laughs> you see what I mean, which product works best for you, which website, which app, but make sure your editing is good, okay? Because if you have bad editing in your video, that right there is another thing that's going to make people just want to click about your video. So make sure your editing is good. One of the edit apps that I use is. Kai Master or Kine Master, however you pronounce it, and I use it on my phone. And yes, I film everything using my phone, which is a LG. Next tip, quality of your videos. So now, like I just said, I film everything on my phone, which is a LG V30. But thing is, you know, the, uh, the V series of LG are phones that are pretty much set up specific, specifically for like camera and photo work. like. It's made for this. But honestly, you know, there's nothing wrong with you starting off using uh, your phone because that's how a, a good channel starts off. You know, uh, subscribers, yeah, they, they care about quality, but they also like the fact that uh, they're like, hey, this, uh, despite this person not having this most ex uh, expensive camera, he's, uh, he or she is still putting out videos using what they can. And so now, you know, over time, you know, like, like I hey, upgrade your equipment and all that, try to up, uh, try to upgrade to a camera that's good for, you know, doing sit down videos like this 
And for videos involving movement, uh, like with me in the kitchen, I plan on upgrading to a DSLR camera soon. But for other videos, like whenever I do sit down videos like this uh, with y'all, I'm gonna probably just use uh, my phone, which is the LG V30. <laughs> LG, I might need a sponsorship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, quality does play a big part too. But it's like I said, you know, work with what you can for right now. You know, that's another thing that kind of holds people up in the beginning. They be thinking that just because I don't have all this proper fancy equipment, my videos aren't be good, I can't put them out. That don't mean nothing. Like I said, work with what you get. Because like my lighting right now, do you want to know what, uh, what my lighting is? I went to Walmart and I bought the little big, they're like silver metal domes that you can fit a, a light bulb inside. And I have three of them hanging up right now around uh, this room right now that focus on me and that's how I'm speaking to y'all. And I have a tripod, a big long one for my phone and a small carry tripod for my phone. And I'm filming on the big tripod right now. My next piece of advice is one I've honestly been slacking on myself lately, but you know, I'm back. Uh, there's not gonna be no more hold up. But this next piece of advice is consistency, which is you have to be consistent with your uploads. And if you are consistent with your uploads, your channel will grow so, so fast. And if you're not, your channel isn't going to do that good. Like you have to make a, a schedule for yourself when uploading this, when uploading these big uh, videos. If you say you're gonna upload two to three times a week, pick the days that you wanna upload your videos. And those are the days that you have to uh, stick to. You know, if you just do random videos, like I'll do one, Hmm, Sunday and then my next video will be Thursday. You know, with oh, with some channels that'll like that's okay. It it just depends on the type of channel you are and the type of content you're putting out. But if you're someone who's adamant about putting out YouTube videos, like you have to stick to a schedule. Now, next tip of advice is depending on your uh, channel, there's a lot of popular videos that you can do. But I but I would say when creating your videos do videos that are different like with me i own a cooking channel and so you and so you you know like yeah i can post the same video as everyone else is doing but i like to be different like one video that i had did was my very first video ever which, which was how to paint your dip strawberries gold and that video is really what got me noticed because that video has over a hundred thousand views right now like my very first video just it blew my channel up because that's a because that's one of those type of videos that you're like hey everyone doesn't really know how to do that and then you know uh i i uploaded other videos you know i did how to just regular dip your strawberries you know i did my thousand subscriber video i even did a video on me going on vacation and then on um, uh, how to make hot cheetos fried chicken wings but then but but then it but then it was the video after that that's gonna really help my channel again, and it's the consistent uh, videos now. And that other video was how to how to make the crumble for the strawberry crunch cake. Like I uploaded that video a couple months ago. It started off kind of slow, but I guess when the seasons changed and it came to summertime, and I guess that's like a spring or summertime cake, and everyone was wanting to know how to make it. That video has just skyrocketed. It has over 200,000 views on it right now. I think it's getting close to 250,000. So yeah, so yeah, try to be diverse in your videos and try to be different. So now, when I uploaded that video back in January of how to paint your dip strawberries gold, I did that video and then just how to dip your strawberries in chocolate. That got me to it's honestly those two videos that gave me to a thousand subscribers fast because uh, my dip berries uh, video, it just, it blew up. It's over uh, 100,000 views right now. And uh, yeah, and so now that was in January, near the end of June. And I'm at 16,000 subscribers right now. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been uh, along with me so far and for helping me reach 16,000 with all, with just a few videos that I have uploaded right now because I think I still have like less than 10 videos on my channel. The thing that's making me want to keep going with this is honestly y'all comments like people to this day 
that comment every day. They say thank you every day for making this video because I never knew how to make this and I was always wanting to know how to do this one particular thing and it's like I can never find a video on it and then you were this one person who came from nowhere and now the information is out there. I get videos and pictures all the time of folks of people recreating what I do and it turns out perf, perf, perfectly for them and they show their deepest gratitude and and one last tip I will say uh have a nice profile picture and banner for your YouTube channel like uh, have a uh, profile picture that just like your thumbnail it catches people it catches people's eyes you know even if it is just a face shot make sure it's a very clear if if and photogenic face shot or it can be a funny face shot just you know make sure it's appealing to someone who wants to click on your channel to subscribe and so yeah that's pretty much all the tips i have for you and now i guess we can get to the point of this whole video that i know you what y'all really been waiting on and that was how much i made on my very first youtube payment so yeah my very first youtube payment was bow 764 dollars and 13 cents when i saw that payment that they was ready to pay me that like some tears actually came down my eyes like like oh my god like do you not understand that's like that's a regular person's paycheck that i just earned and like that and that and that hit me hard like i was like wow like youtube really just paid me this right now but i wouldn't have been able to get that amount if it wasn't for you all those the subscribers and the watchers and so again thank you very much sorry about that uh uh family back home now so yeah thank you all like <laughs> i like i just gonna say thank you to y'all enough like now with some people when they first get their first payment i know for some it'll even be that high some people's first payment was 150 dollars 200 dollars like majority of the time your your, uh, your very first payment is not high it don't be above five hundred dollars but if you ever are lucky enough for it to be over five hundred for it to be close to a thousand or over a thousand dollars like be extremely grateful and be humble and let that be your motivation for like hey keep going like shoot uh, like shoot even if it's uh like i said 150 dollars be consistent and be continuous with it and it will be greater and it will keep increasing and uh and rising like stay with it like don't give up at it but follow your banana no, no, follow manifest your journey so i will say like right now it's currently june 23rd and and i have until now until like close to july 21st to continuously put out more videos to be able to be able to earn my next payment uh in july and i can say like uh my current videos are, are still generating revenue and if i go ahead and i start doing two to three videos a week now all, uh, all the way up until the middle of july i'll be way over what i earned for june of of the 764 dollars because i'm already back close to it again and, and like i said i'm not gloating or bragging but you know since i'm about to be really uh consistent and work hard with it it's going to pay off and it's going to show um that's it for this video that's all i really gotta say if you have any other questions about anything you know comment down below or go to my social media, you know, my Instagram, which is 901 Cravings, my Facebook, 901 Cravings, and shoot and shoot me a comment in X. Like I will answer whatever questions to the best of my ability and knowledge that I can for you. But yeah, like I said, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification to be notified every time I post. All right, I love you guys. I, I still can't say thank you enough for everything so far. Thank you for, for watching my channel. Thank you for being subscribers. Just thank y'all and I'll see you in the next one.